Here's problem 5-9. The surface of the inclined plane shown is frictionless. If F is equal to 30 newtons, what is the magnitude of the force exerted on a 3 kilogram block by the 2 kilogram block? So we have a 3 kilogram block over here, a 2 kilogram block here. Let's call those mass 1 and mass 2 respectively. We have a force down here that's equal to 30 newtons. Now, what we want to do initially is to find the acceleration of the whole system, which would be the acceleration of the individual components. Um, that's always a nice thing to find. So let's blob this whole thing together like this. Now this blob will have weight and total weight would be say m1 plus m2 times g going downward like this and then there's also going to be a normal force of this blob perpendicular to the incline like that and then of course we got this force of 30 newtons now if I were to change my coordinate system so that x is down the incline and y is perpendicular to the incline the forces of the normal force and this F force are going to cooperate with that new coordinate system but this uh, gravity force is not. It's not cooperating. So I need to divide it up into components that correspond to my new X and Y. Now if I look at this triangle which has a 30 degree angle if I break this force into a component that's going down the incline and into the incline, I would recognize that this angle over here is 90 minus 30 or 60 degrees and because of this new right triangle here this angle here is the same as the 30 because it has to be a complementary angle of the 60 degrees. So as I look at the hypotenuse of this little triangle which is mg or m1 plus m2g then this component of the force that's down the incline is going to be m1 plus m2 times g and it will be sine theta down the incline and cosine theta into the incline what a mess and that one is going to be m1 plus m2 g cosine theta. Let's, uh, let's redraw this free body diagram. We have a total mass of 5 kilograms and our forces are a normal force a normal force we have a gravitational force of m total mass g cosine theta into the incline. We have a force down the incline of total mass mg sine theta. And then we have a force F pushing up, which we're told is 30 newtons. The normal force and the mg cosine theta are going to cancel out, so we have no net motion in what we call the y direction but we will have motion in the x direction and we will have accelerated motion in the x direction I'm not really sure which direction which direction that acceleration is going to go but let's uh, let's just, just assume it's going up so that'll be our positive direction for acceleration if it's not going up the incline if it's going the opposite direction then we'll just get a negative value for ac acceleration okay so looking in the x direction as we've drawn it, we would say that the summation of all the forces in the x direction is equal to our total mass times acceleration, and that's equal to the net force in the direction of acceleration, which in this case is going to be F minus our total mass G sine theta. 
In other words, we have a total mass of 5 kilograms, so this is going to be 5 kilograms times A is equal to 30 newtons minus 5 times 9.8 times the sine of 30 degrees. Solving this for A, A is going to equal 30 minus 49 times 1 half, which is the sine of 30 degrees, divided by 5. So that's going to be 30 minus 24.5, which would be 5.5 divided by 5, or we'll have acceleration of 1.1 meters per second squared. And it came out positive, so we can be assured that we did assume the correct direction up the incline. All right, this is all nice to know. We've always wanted to know that but we want to find the pushing force uh, for, of the 2 kilogram block on a 3 kilogram block. So let's focus in on one of these blocks by themselves. Let's look at M1. What are the forces acting on M1? Well, we're going to have um, a normal force. We're going to have a M1 G sine theta. I mean, I'm sorry, cosine theta, into the incline, and we're going to have an m1 g sine theta down the incline, and the force pushing on it is the force that block, 2 kilogram block is pushing on this 3 kilogram block. Let's just call that P. As a result of all these forces, it manages to accelerate up the incline with a value equal to 1.1 meters per second squared. All right, this is our free body diagram for mass one. And if I look in the x direction, positive x going up, I guess, in this case, I would have that the summation of all the forces in the x direction is equal to m1a, and that is equal to p minus m1g sine theta because that is the net force in the direction of positive acceleration. Since m1 is equal to 3 kilograms, we're going to have 3a is equal to p minus 3 times 9.8 times the sine of 30 degrees. So p is going to equal 3a plus 29.4 sine of 30 degrees is 0.5. So this is going to be 3 times 1.1 plus 19.7. So 3.3 plus 19.7. Is that right? Let's see. 29.4, oh no, that's 14.7. Um, 3.3 plus 14.7, it's going to give us 18.0 newtons. So the force of block 2 pushing on block 1 is 18 newtons. <laughs>